Hi guys, this is Matt from Warrior Republic. I'm going to show you a judo arm triangle. It's a little bit different than most schools would probably do it. So I'm also going to show you a kata katami variation so you guys can use in jiu-jitsu and MMA. So basically going to start where someone's just on side control, right? Because that's mostly where it happens. So what you're going to do is you start from here, right? Maybe you want to start with tight shoulder control. And what I like to do is you're, you're going to, first of all, put your weight on on the side and you're going to shift your hips right here. This is almost going to be more of like a judo kind of pin here. And what you want to do right now is, and sometimes you can skip this step if you're already over here, and it's always the opposite side of the head. You're going to scoop right here, right under here, and you're going to switch your body. And what you're going to try to do is see if you can take your knee or your body. If this doesn't work, you bribe the, the pin up here and you push it over, and then you go right to here. So the difference here is if James wanted to flip out of this, try to flip out of it. And the reason why it's so much tighter is because most people do it like this, where they gable grip it. They have to put a lot of weight. You see this on UFC all the time. They have to twist to go around. But James could get out of that. And this is most of the time you see a lot of wrestlers who come into grappling or MMA, they get that little gable grip going and they think that that's tight enough. The truth is, it's not tight enough. So you need to actually put in this deep, this real deep, and you want to put your body right here put your head here. So, now as soon as you got this position, you're gonna put your, you're gonna change your position to here, and you're gonna go like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put most of my weight and I'm just gonna go down. And I could also circle more. And another thing you can do is tire your opponent out this way. So even if I just wanted to hold here, and I can also hold the grip like this. And if James keeps walking his, because one of the things you can walk, well, yeah, you can walk the other way because you make that tighter. You try to walk this way, I could just play this game. It's higher than that. And so I want to execute submission, right? And I can go down and execute it right there. So this is also a move you can use to just kind of tire your opponent out and then execute it. So that is my judo arm triangle that I want to show you. It's just a deeper variation with your elbow in real tight, almost like we're doing a Dars. And your body weight has to be in a good position so he can't flip over. So, hope you enjoy that and now I'll show you the variation of the Katakatami. I'm going to show you guys the Katakatami and this is going to be a variation, right? You're going to see me instead of going like this, I will kind of bring it underneath. You get into side control, right? You have the shoulder right here. You're going to bring this right here, same type of thing right there and you're basically gonna start the technique. So you want the, always with judo anyway, they like the pin and they like the head underneath. You also can grab here. And even if someone's trying to, it gives a little more control. So, um, so it's the same thing. We're gonna go kind of right here. What I'm gonna do is change my grip to here, right? And I'm basically gonna just tap it like that. See, it's a little bit different than the arm triangle. I have my arm right here. And what I'm gonna do is put my hips down. I'm kind of just gonna look right at it, right? And I could even arrange this where I go like this and I can make it tighter and walk around. You can almost make it like a variation of a katakatami and a clock chip. So how you get to it again is you go from you're right on top, right here. You got the underneath. Maybe you don't even have underneath. Maybe you just get right here. And this is almost easier too, right? So you got right here. Boom, you got the shoulder in. You almost have the technique right here. You know, it could be, you know, James is a strong guy, but I got like right here. I push it over. And basically, I'm going to make sure that sometimes I can't get the grip. And I have to go like this. And as I land, I change my grip to that. And I go underneath. And see how much tighter? Watch, James doesn't feel that. But underneath, I bring it towards me. This is my variation is it's way tighter underneath. And you just, you can even look down or look angle and it's just way tighter. So this is tight, but try to wiggle out James. This is, especially if he's strong, he can get out of it. Even if I go down, I'm trying to go like this on him. He can still wiggle out. So how you stop that is you go here, you go a little bit underneath and you just take your own elbow. 
and you just pull up on yourself. And you can walk and make it more deadly. All right, and that's my two variations. And that's how you play a little bit of a judo pin chokes and you can take it with your katakatami and your arm triangle. Hope you enjoy that. I like playing scarf. <laughs> yeah, and my dad's basically was taught by some Olympic judo guy. And yeah, I know. I always out. just do, I either go for the arm bar or the kimura that you get. Right. It's a really cool move. Like, he, he's been doing it to us for years. He even had me do it for wrestling, but I was doing it more like this grip. Yeah. You know, I had it in there because you're not allowed to, like, totally. Yeah, in wrestling, up. you have to. Well, kind of. Because when me and you wrestle, you were allowed to do this. Now you're not allowed to have you're it anymore. To anymore. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So the other one. Um, you know, a sport's just kind of broken when you, when you have to change the rules to stop people from choking each other in like the legal positions. And like it's so hard, it so wants to be grappling even more than just wrestling. It's like allow it, let it be that. Yeah, way. like Sambo makes sense. Total sense. Yeah. Then freestyle to folk style, it's just like what are you doing? <laughs>